revised or there we go. I am just recording it because the standing committee is still uh, going on. Okay, thank you. All right, I want to welcome everybody to this the special meeting May 24th of the City Planning Commission where we're going to hear the river, Riverfront Redevelopment District. Uh, I think everybody knows everybody on the call. We don't have any uh, participants here on the call, so I'll go ahead and uh, turn it over to Janet for the opening statement that's required. Oh, it's not necessary to do the opening statement tonight. Okay. Then we will okay. jump right in. That's all right. Sorry, Patrick. No, thank you so much, everyone, for uh, joining tonight. Um, really appreciate by joining uh, by doing this meeting tonight and allowing the full commission to set up the public hearing on Thursday night. We save a lot of time on this project. So I'll go through it as quickly as I can. So cities all around the country have been uh, reinventing the riverfronts specifically by creating pedestrian and bicycle pathways and bridges uh, across and around their riverfronts. Here's a picture of downtown Des Moines. Here's the Bob Carey pedestrian bridge that expands, that goes from Omaha to Council Bluffs, Iowa. Here's Waterfront Park in Louisville. And you'll see in the background there, uh, a uh, repurposed railroad bridge, which leads nicely into our discussion tonight. So here's the overall TIF district. Uh, you may recall, you, you previously uh, found a made a conformance finding for the blue area, project area one, for the yards apartments. We are now asking for a conformance finding for the kind of the pink or red area here, which is the, the Rock Island Bridge. There's a picture. Show you a few artists' renderings of uh, what the final project will look like, steps leading up. Here's kind of the pedestrian pathway. There's bars and restaurants, coffee shop planned. Here's the uh, kind of the main event space on the second level. You see um, really you know huge ceilings, those iron, really intricate iron work. Um, be a really neat place for for, uh, for weddings and other special events. So the developer is going to be adding these kind of cantilevers that kind of extend out over the river to add additional space. And there you get a sense of that. Here's a view, uh, kind of the view from that area you see into downtown KCK with City Hall there in the background. Some of the benefits uh, from the bridge, uh, new taxes. One of the main benefits is gonna be the trail, the trail connection. You'll be able to walk or bike across the river from the stockyards or West Bottoms area into Armordale. Uh, we hope they'll really open up um, the area for new businesses and get people down to the river and enjoying all of the amenities there. The total project cost will be about $5 million. Of that, the unified government is making uh, a loan of $2 million. And I'll talk with you shortly about how that'll be repaid. So there's going to be a TIF district, property tax TIF and sales tax TIF. Uh, the proceeds of that will be used to repay the $2 million. In addition, there will be a 2% sales tax CID on all the purchases made on the bridge. A uh, independent uh, analysis estimated that the $2 million would be repaid in about 12 to 15 years. In addition to that, uh, we expect additional financial benefit uh, we are charging rent to the management company, and that escalates over each year. Uh, there's a revenue sharing provision in the agreement. So the better that they do, the better that the unified government does. Um, after the TIF is terminated, then all the sales tax that we would normally receive continues to flow to the unified government. And then after the TIF is term terminated, again, all the property tax revenue would uh, flow to the unified government. And finally, there's a uh, fiber um, conduit that runs through the bridge and we expect that we'll be able to lease that out for about $25,000 a year. After tonight uh, with approval, uh, the full commission will consider a resolution to set a public hearing for July 1st. And the final uh, meeting would be uh, for full commission approval 
like again, as I said, on July 1st. Uh, this area is designated mixed use on the master plan area, uh, on the master plan map. Staff has uh, rec reviewed and recommended approval. And uh, we would, I would ask that uh, you do the same. I stand for any questions. Thank you, Patrick. Any questions for legal counsel on the project? No. Uh, Commissioner I Jones? Like, it looks really, it looks like a wonderful project. And with what's included, I think it'd be good for the community. Yeah. Yeah. I think it's going to be, it's going to be one of the kind. Absolutely. It's really, really exciting. Anything else? Any comments, questions? Uh, Commissioner Pauly, oh, we got you muted. I have a question um, just about the picture that you have pulled up. I'm seeing water. I'm just curious. What is, is there a water feature? Or is that supposed to be the river? Oh, and that's, the, the, right, right here. that's just the river. Yeah. Okay. <laughs> <laughs> it looks filtered. <laughs> So the, the entire concept is an open air concept, concept. Is that correct, Patrick? Exactly, yeah. They, I think they, they will, the um, kind of restaurants and areas mo will most likely be a nine month a year uh, concept, but then the trail that goes through the pedestrian, pedestrian and bicycle trail will be open year round. Okay, thank you. Again, any other questions for Patrick? Commissioner Jones. Patrick, you just mentioned something that I was going to ask about when you said a nine months. So inclement winter weather, then is this just not going to be used, partially used? What happens during the winter? Right. I think for the winter, it basically just becomes a pedestrian trail, pedestrian walkway. Yep. And so things will be put up. I mean, just. Yep. You mute. You actually accidentally hit mute, Commissioner Jones. Thank you. So there'll be, because when we look at this open air atmosphere, which is very nice when the weather is nice, but will it be covered up to protect the investment? Yes. Um, you know, they will have, um, they'll have security there um, at night and they, they will close the trail off. It, it's kind of like a park that closes, you know, the parks usually close at midnight or sunset whenever. So they will lock up for the night to make sure that their investment is secure, secure and people aren't just wandering around um, you know, in the coffee shop and things like that. Uh, so they'll close that for night. And then um, when in the winter time, I imagine they, they may have like a one staff there for, you know, security purposes. Um, but otherwise, the, other than that, it will just be the, uh, the pedestrian trail connection. Anything else? And so Patrick, what do you just need a motion for, uh, you would like a motion for approval, is that correct? Uh, yeah, if, you, if anyone has the, um, the staff report, um, basically it's a, it's, a, it's a little bit different just that it's a finding of conformance to the project plan. It's on, on page four of the staff report, there's a, um, um, a, a motion that could be made. Okay, so a finding of conformance motion. Uh, Commissioner Jones, your hand is up. I have that so I can make the motion if we're okay. ready. I, I will stand for that motion. I move that the city planning commission find the Caw bridge redevelopment project plan for project area four of the riverfront redevelopment district conforms to the unified government's citywide master plan second i have a motion for approval that the project does conform to the citywide master plan made by commissioner jones seconded by commissioner polly is that correct yes okay thank you any discussion on motion for approval or to move forward? Seeing none, roll call, please. Ernst? Aye. Ewing? Aye. Jones? Aye. Miller? Aye. Moeller? Aye. Foley? Aye. Mr. Chairman, that motion passes six in favor and none opposed. Great. Thank you very much, everyone. Thank you. Now, does this move on to the, the board of commissioners then? Is that the yeah, next step? I'm sorry, you went through the next. Yeah, the full commission. It, it's it's technically a separate item, but the full commission will then set the uh, public hearing on the project area on, on Thursday night. Okay, great. 
Is there anything else tonight that we need to go through? That's it. Gunner, Thank you very much. Patrick? That's Janet? It. Nope, that's okay. all we have for tonight. Okay, I want to chastise all of you that gave Janet a problem before this meeting started in my absence. So I won't stand for that in the future. And so, so Janet, that puts me back in her good graces and maybe I'm out of good grace with the rest of you all. But if that's it for tonight,